Good morning. Welcome to your weekly general reading for the week of July 4th. I'm going to be starting with Pisces since, you know, I always start with you guys for some reason. So what does Pisces need to know? Uh, if you've noticed, I'm, I'm using the uh, Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And then I'm going to use the uh, Oracle of the Unicorn cards also. And uh, if you're in the United States, happy 4th of July. And thank you for being here. Cards for Pisces. Okay. Cards for Pisces. Three. Two. Woo! There we go. Okay. Pisces, your weekly general reading. <clears throat> Ace of Air, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. There's been a lot of challenging in this uh, year, hasn't there been? And the second card you got was the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Well, those two definitely go together, don't they? But just remember, Pisces, your intuition is key to your decisions this week. That's what it's saying. You know, do your due diligence, be inspired, but make sure you're honest with yourself, <clears throat> you know, and it's, it's going to be a challenge, but if you follow your intuition, it should work better. I like, you like that better because <laughs> nothing's perfect, right? So I don't want to give the indication that anything can be absolutely perfect. We're only going to use the uh, Dark Mansion Tarot to see if there's any clarifications here. Anything else that Pisces needs to know for this week? Wow, check these cards, two by two. Five of Swords and Page of Wands. So this to me is more of a uh, cautionary thing. Because the Five of Swords is winning at all costs. The Page of Wands is a brand new passionate beginning. This to me says that you need to be careful not to do something. Um, don't hurt anybody on the way with this new venture. You know, think about what you're doing and do your best. And make sure that you're not doing it at the cost of somebody else. Okay. Uh, you also could have a fire sign that's involved here, that's involved in it, and be careful that they are not promoting it. Because it did come out together, I would just be careful that this person doesn't have a uh, win-at-all-costs mentality. Um, I don't know about you, but I really do contemplate my uh, karma. Ooh, look at that. The Oracle of the Unicorn card, that came out pretty quick, didn't it? Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. And that's so funny because remember I said, if you're working with the with the fire sign, be careful. It's not a win at all costs. And these cards said use your intuition, not somebody else's, somebody else's. Be patient. Consider carefully what you want before acting. And you have brilliant new ideas. So Pisces. Looks like a, a fantastic week for something new. If you are starting something new, please, I would love to hear about it. And uh, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to like and uh, have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.